Welcome back to my channel, Sereja Andrea. So there's a lot to cover in this video. So I'm just gonna jump right into it. I'm gonna be sectioning up this video by doing a voiceover section. Then later on, I will do a talk through version of how I put on the lace, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So the first thing you wanna do obviously is take out your wig. This wig is from Ion Hair. I did get a 24 inch water wave 150 density wig. When I tell you guys, I love this wig so much. I know I said that about a lot of wigs, but listen, a lot of wigs be up to quality, you know what I'm saying? But this wig, it just did something for me, okay? I did get a transparent lace because you guys know I'm a little bit of chocolate and I definitely need that. So the first thing you wanna do with full laces is take off the wig combs. We do not need them. I took off every single wig comb that was on the wig and then the next thing I'm gonna do is take off the back of the elastic band. I never knew you were supposed to do this. This is a secret to having your wigs look the most realistic. So all I did was just go ahead and take off the back of the elastic and this is what it pretty much looks like with no wig combs no elastic in the back that's exactly how you want your wig to look the next step is moving on to putting a bleach on the entire full lace never knew ever that you were supposed to put bleach in the middle of the wig that's actually another secret to how you have your wig look the most realistic because those are invisible knots you want to make sure you're putting bleach there because that's when it's going to give you the most realistic type of effect with your full lace So you don't have to do this part. I just decided to do it on camera. All I did was just go ahead and put my wig on my silicone head. You guys have seen this canvas head so many times when I sit and dye my wigs. So I just went ahead and placed the wig on there to let it sit. And I did let the bleach sit for about 45 minutes. So once 45 minutes is done, I'm just gonna go ahead to shampooing and using my purple shampoo. First, I'm gonna use a regular shampoo. This is from Ion Color Defense. It is a sulfate free shampoo. Gonna use this to get any excess bleach off the wig. And then next, I'm going to use a duo pair of purple shampoos. The first one is gonna be from Ion. It's their purple shampoo. Next one is gonna be from Shimmer Lights. I love to mix these two together because it makes the perfect combo with just color correcting and canceling out any orange that I have in my knots. And it just literally neutralizes out the entire lace. I'm letting that sit for about 25 minutes. And when that is up, I'm then gonna move on to Reverse knotting. If you guys don't know what that is, it's basically when I take a black dye and I just go over the entire lace and I put the black dye to make it look a lot more neater just in case I have any areas where I did do it over bleaching. But before I do that, I'm just showing you guys what the hair texture of the wig looks like. This wig literally did it for me, you guys. Like this texture is so beautiful. Like I'm so happy I got a water wave because I definitely wanted it more of like a wavy type of texture, not so much of a curly but I just went ahead to show you guys what the texture looks like. I definitely have to say that this texture has some type of texture to it, if that makes any sense. Like it definitely has a texture to it that makes it not so silky, but it definitely is a beautiful curl. So all I did was go ahead and do my reverse dyeing on the knots and then I put some conditioner in. And then the last step I'm doing before I do my talk through is just plucking the lace. I did do a detailed version of my my updated way of how I like to pluck my laces now. So that will be out very soon, but that is pretty much it for this part. And then we can move on to doing the talk through version of this video. So we already went ahead and prepped our wig. Now we are ready to install it. And I'm hoping this goes good because it's my first time doing this like ever. 
So I'm gonna be using a new product today, um, but first I'm going to go ahead and mold down my hair. I'm gonna be using Eco Styler Gel, this big, this big ass jar. <laughs> This big jar right here. I just went ahead and put a little bit of that on the back of my hand. And now I'm going to apply. Why can I never find what I need? So I'm just gonna be putting the gel on my edges and I'm gonna do it on the front as well as the back of my hair. Okay, so I'm gonna be using lace glue today. So I'm gonna go ahead and prep my skin. I'm gonna be using some 91% alcohol. And then I'm also going to be using a skin guard. This is from Erica J. Hold Me Down um, Adhesive Line. So I'm gonna be using a new product today. Never used this before up until now. Um, I've also never seen this before. So this is the new Kiss product, the Almighty Bond Dual Applicator Lace Glue. It has two sides. It has a precision tip that is going to be really good for the nicks and crannies, the small areas that you can't really get. And it does dispense product, as you guys can see. And then it also has a silicone tip side I love this because I am a victim of using too much product when I use my lace glues. It allows me to dispense a good amount of product and it's also easy to spread all around the hairline. Another thing I wanna point out is the fact that this is extremely fast drying. This dries so quick, you guys, and the hold on this is amazing. I played around with it on the back of my hand for a little bit. Um, not only that, but one thing I've noticed is that when I use the actual Kiss makeup remover wipes, it literally comes right up and it doesn't leave that sticky residue on the back of your hand or even on your forehead um, from when I've tried it. So that is freaking amazing because we all hate a nasty residue application. And also from what I know, Kiss has developed this product for about two years now. So this is the first dual tip applicator I've seen on the market. I have not seen any other company do this. It's actually pretty freaking smart for them to do this because it's an all-in-one type of package deal. Also perfect for you to put in your purse on the go if you feel you need a little touch up somewhere, you know what I'm saying? You can definitely do that with this product. So I'm gonna be putting this product to the absolute test today. Not only am I going to be applying it on camera, but I'm also gonna be doing a waterproof test. Not just any waterproof test i'm not going to be going and getting in the shower or anything like that i'm going to my boyfriend's pool today and we're going to really see how waterproof this product is so the first thing i'm gonna do is use the product on my stocking cap i'm going to be doing a similar application as erica j i literally sat and like studied her latest tutorial of how to um, properly use her lace glue even though I'm not going to be using her lace glue today I just like the way that she did her whole entire ball cap method and I like the way that she applied her um, lace wig so I'm going to be doing pretty much the same type of application install so yeah so I'm just going to go ahead and cut my ear tabs on both sides now because i am using a full lace today i want to make sure that my ball cap is uh 360 so i just want to make sure that it's pulled down and everything i'm so nervous oh my god i'm so nervous <laughs> so i'm first going to use the product by taking the uh, silicone tip side of the glue um, and I'm just going to apply this to my hairline. I usually would use 
use like a um, applicator like this. I actually got this from the Erica J line, but like I said, I would I would have too much product like on my forehead and then I would try to spread it out with like an applicator like that and then I would still have too much product on my um on my entire head. So it was just like I feel like with this you have more control. Um so that's one thing that I really do like about it so far. So before I go ahead and cut my wig cap, it does have to dry just a little bit more in that area. That would just naturally dry on its own. But one thing I can say about doing the lace glue with the ball cap instead of using like a spray, like got to be spray or got to be gel or just any gel in general, I feel like it matches your actual skin tone and your actual scalp, 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 scalp the best in my personal opinion. Not only that, I feel like the hold of the ball cap would be extremely longer than if I was to use the got to be spray because before I was using the got to be spray to do my wig caps number one it took forever for this to dry on the wig cap number two the stickiness in the product got everywhere so it was a little bit more messy the last thing is I completely forgot to do talk about the original so this product is actually going to be launching in October of 2020 this is not out yet but I just wanted to go ahead and try it because I did have it why not also not only that I was a part of the entire kiss almighty bomb lace glue campaign so thank you kiss products for number one picking me to be a part of this entire campaign but number two just the all the overall experience of inviting me to your manufacturing place um, your job of work where you have production and everything like that it was absolutely freaking amazing so um, the last thing is they do have an original all money bond kit this actually is already out in stores in your nearest beauty supply store so the only difference is this is just like the typical lace glue bottle that every other company has out um, that's why I said this is the first ever to happen because no other company has this out right now so again this is launching in October 2020 but this is already out and also it does have a remover I completely forgot they do have a remover for the all Mati bond go ahead and check out their formula right now because it's the same formula just different applicators that's just all it is so now I'm gonna go ahead and cut the ball cap I only have like a little bit of of the glue showing but that's just gonna dry on its own pretty much it's dried everywhere else so I feel a little bit comfortable to cut it now so I'm just gonna cut it like how I would normally cut any other ball cap method Okay, so what I'm gonna do is, because I'm gonna be going in the pool today, I wanna make sure that I get the longest hold of the product as possible. So I'm going to build up to about three layers on the front and the back of my entire ball cap. And I'm just gonna go ahead and do that, let each layer dry. And then when I've built up to about three layers, I will come on to do the install of the lace wig.
Okay, so here's the wig. Um, I think what I'm gonna do, I didn't tint it because I noticed that this isn't like pure transparent lace. It has a slight light tint to it. So when I come across laces like that, I usually just don't do a tint and I just use um, powder or cream. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my Huda Beauty um, bronzer in light. And now I'm gonna go ahead and cut the back lace of the wig. All right, I'm going to put one more layer of the glue on. take some got to be spray and just spray in between the hair I pulled out and the hair in the back now I'm gonna take an elastic band and put that in between the part we did and wrap it around now I'm just going to blow dry on medium heat for two minutes I want to take my lace tint. This is from True Match Lace Conceal in the shade Bronze. And I'm just going to spray this in between my parting. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and cut the lace. Okay, the front is done. It looks pretty spanking freaking good, you guys. This looks so good. And I didn't even do baby hair yet. So 
I'm just going to turn around and do my back side. That's the side I'm most nervous about, but I really wouldn't wear my hair in a high ponytail today. So I'm going to just try to take my time and just hopefully this comes out good. Just like how I did the front of this, I'm going to do one more layer of the lace glue and then I'm just going to go ahead and apply it down. first late full lace my first full lace I've ever done correctly with lace glue like what who am I uh, think I'm going to just create my baby hairs now um, I'm not going to do too much too much is not the wave sometimes so I'm just going to go ahead and cut some baby hair do some little swoop there it is and then I'm pretty much done, so I'll be back.
Okay, so I pretty much am done with the entire install. Now it's going to be the fun part. I'm going to be going to my boyfriend's house yet again. I've literally been at his house like every single day, period. <laughs> I'm going to go to his house again because I got the funnest idea of um, jumping in the pool, being underwater. Not only that, I have the new iPhone Max X Pro, whatever it's called and you can go underwater with the camera. So I'm gonna be testing out two things. I'm gonna be testing out to see if my freaking phone's going to crash, burn, and die. And then I'm also going to be seeing how well the lace holds up in water. Now it's not promoted to be like a waterproof lace glue. That's not really what they're trying to promote, but they did let me know that it has waterproof properties in it. So why not put it to the test? It's very sunny outside. It's a nice day. So I'm going to put it to the test, period. So first impressions, I feel like this is just completely dummy proof. I feel like it's the perfect beginner friendly type of lace glue. Now y'all know I've tested out a couple of lace glues now and I just feel like the main problem that I have every single time is pretty much the same and the problem is I feel like I have a problem with being too heavy handed and applying too much product. And with this, I feel like with the silicone tip, I feel like it does a really good job with controlling how much product that you put. Even if I were to sit and put too much product, the way that it glides with the actual applicator, I feel like it just glides the product right on and it spreads it out and lays it evenly thin. And that's a thing about lace glue. You have to apply your lace glue very thin for it to really work and dry as fast as possible. And with the applicator, it definitely helps you out with that. So that's my first impressions. That's my whole entire install. That's everything that has to do with everything before the pool part so let's jump right to getting to my boyfriend's house and we are going to put this lace glue to the test and also close out this entire video so let go <laughs> so i did have the volume on when i did this part of the video but clearly water got on my phone so it sounded a little bit crazy but my boyfriend actually did help me do this part of the video um but yeah all i did was just go ahead and dunk my head about two times to just make sure that I had the entire lace wet. Literally, you guys, the wig did not go anywhere. Like, I had this wig on for the past three days now. I still have the wig on to this day. And I'll also show you guys later on in a clip of me having it on the day after I got it wet. But the back didn't lift. The front didn't lift. Nothing lift. The only thing I had to do was just obviously fix my baby hair. But after I got out of the pool, I just went ahead to put a head wrap on and I let it air dry and then this is the next day. I was very shocked because like I said, Kiss Products doesn't necessarily promote their Almighty Bond glue to be waterproof, but they did tell me at the campaign shoot that it does have waterproof properties in it. So I was like, okay, I wanna kinda do a full detailed video showing the water method, um, putting the lace on and everything, and I'm happy because if it didn't work, it would've messed up my entire video, but it did, so I'm just showing you guys what the back looks like after getting it wet what the front looks like I did just go ahead and just fix my baby hair a little bit like I said even after this video I still have this wig on um, I shower with it like everything I still get it wet it's bomb the hair is bomb the lace glue is bomb like everything about this video was bomb so if you guys enjoyed this video definitely go ahead and thumbs up and let me know in the comment section if you guys want to see a updated way of how i pluck my wigs um and yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video was so fun it took me about four days but it was completely fun um i can't wait to see you guys in my next video make sure you guys like comment subscribe and just tell everyone about it because um it's cool thank you guys so much for watching and can't wait to see you in my next one bye guys